Oh, hey. I think we're live here. Everybody can hear me okay? 7 p.m. EST. Looks like I'm live for about 10 seconds. Yeah. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Got a bunch of people on here. Whoa, 110. That's wild. I haven't done this for a while. So, yeah, I figured why not? <clears throat> Got a special 420 hangout episode. Microphone's working okay. Everyone can hear me? Check, check, check. All right, good. Perfect. So, yeah, I hope everyone's doing good. Bless up to everyone on this lovely, fine 420 afternoon. I'm just at home in Toronto, Canada. It's pretty cold for April. It was supposed to be snow today. So I hope it's warmer where you are, but we're keeping the vibes high. Just enjoying life and getting through all this lockdown nonsense together. So, yeah, how's the camera looking? I'm trying this new thing. It's called Camo Studio. So I've actually just got my phone plugged into the computer, and it uses it like a webcam, and it appears to be much better quality. And then I got this Yeti mic here, <clears throat> uh, Yeti mic blue, and it seems to be doing pretty good. So, yeah, big up, big up to everyone. How's your 420 going? What do you guys have going on today? What's up with the 420 plans? I don't have a whole lot going on. Oh, RL Don, blazing one up, right on. Always a good call. I'm probably going to do that after the broadcast. Yeah. Big up Oscar. Main says the camera is good. Okay, great. Yeah, a bunch of comments up top that I missed. So big up Chef Tone in Buffalo, just across the lake. I'm sure it's pretty cold for you today, too. Cali Kush, weather in Cali is perfect. Of course. Big up to Dreddy Bill. Every time, long time viewer. Excuses. <laughs> I'm not smoking. I've got my little crop here to show off. And this is the full yield. You can see a video on my other channel called Earthly Eats, but pretty pitiful because I planted, I think it was mid August or late August after growing a couple males. So that was, yeah, pretty ridiculous, but that's okay. The plant that I grew, honestly, it's probably maybe 10 grams or something like that. Maybe a little bit more, but yeah, not a whole lot. Junior Blake, Jamaican in the house. When am I going back to Jamaica? I'm not sure exactly. I was talking to Mako today, and <clears throat> it's been a weird time with Canada and pandemic. Cases are going way up in the province where I live and especially in the city where I live. And I've done already so many weeks of quarantine. In, in 2020, I did six weeks of quarantine, so I'm kind of sick of quarantining. So I'm waiting until maybe the travel is a little bit simpler to do. Uh, I was, I'm just sick of being in quarantine. So hopefully things change up. What's up, Caleb? Big up to all of everyone in Australia. I love Australia. I've been a bunch of times. I used to live on the Gold Coast. I went to university there for one year. Love that stuff. Original Alexander Krauss. I recognize this name. Rouse Kitchen Crew gives you so much joy. Big up on your creative ingenuity. Thank you. I appreciate it. Honestly, I, I, uh, I, re I really do. I'm surprised that this show has gone anywhere, being that it took so long to get where it is. So I'm massively appreciative of anyone that likes to watch it. It's still kind of mind-blowing to me. So big up to you, sir. What's up, Michael Hensley in Detroit? You're not far away either. It's just about a three hour drive to get to Detroit for me. I love Detroit. I haven't been for a while. Some good skate parks there. What's up? Who we got? Massachusetts, France, Dixie and North Bay. I just saw one from New Zealand. Where did it go? I just lost it. Luis de Assis, to the ball, tranquilo. Como va? Felipe, what's up, man? 
Love Brazil. Hope you guys are staying safe. I have a friend who is a doctor in Rio and he's dealing with all that craziness right now. So stay safe where stay safe wherever you are. Marco Polo. All the dispensaries have long lines. What a surprise. Canada might have as many dispensaries as California now. It's very possible. I swear there's one on every single corner now. What's up, Zach Miller? How's it going? Pick up. Pagan Shaman. That's a good name. Damn, that's, are you a DJ? That should be a good DJ name. Happy 420 from Germany. Hundreds. That's another great name. Greetings from Poland. You show Rass Kitchen to everyone. You have the opportunity to. That's awesome. That's how I think the real way is. I know there's a lot of people during pandemic that started YouTube channels and want to grow something and create. I feel like so many people are always trying to, um, you know, get shout outs or pay for promotion or this and that. Word of mouth is honestly the best way, even though it's an online thing. If my friend tells me to watch something, I'm going to watch it. So big up to you. It's awesome. What's up, Lisandro? Happy 420 from Antigua. Love to go to Antigua someday. That's wicked. Quite the international crew here. Philippines in the house. What's going on? Big up to my Filipino Canadian buddy Darwin, Uncle Dar. He's the one that just designed the No Fuckery shirt. And he is a new daddy. So big up to Darwin and Jenny. Love you guys. What's up, David Butler? The West Coast, Santa Cruz. Happy 420. Hope you're good. What a beautiful place to be, Santa Cruz. Warcat. Kind of cold here in Toronto today, yeah? Not the nicest. I did a little walk, but yeah, getting warmer. What's up, Michael Spirko in Slovakia? Great work. Bumbleclaw. Yes, indeed. Bumbleclaw. Hey, it's Scott Allen. What's up, Scott? Hope you're good. Yeah, we're doing doing good. What's up, Cornelius? Watching from the beginning. Big up to you. It's awesome. Daniel Stein, mad love from Austin, Texas. How cool is Austin? So you got so many interesting people living there. I'm a big Noah Kagan fan, Tim Ferriss, Ryan Holiday. I think even maybe Jeff Rowley lives there, pro skater. So I'm a big uh, admirer of Austin. It seems like a cool place. I've never been. Never been to Texas, really, other than the Houston airport. You like the walls, local legend. <clears throat> the walls here actually got done. I was on a YouTube show called Make My Space Work. If anyone wants to watch it, it's kind of funny. I'll try to look it up. Make My Space Work. It was a YouTube show by Shopify. And... Uh, yeah, they redid this room for me. It was pretty awesome. So over the summer, they gave me a new uh, new setup in here. So they're the ones that painted it green and put the molding. Oh, playing the video. Shouldn't do that while I'm here, but I'm going to uh, post this vid. If you want to watch the Shopify video, there it is. Make my space work. What's up, Miko in Vallejo? You ever see E40 running around? I know he's from around that area. Big up, Frank Artino. Big up to you. I hope you're feeling good. Hope your health is good and improving. And I know you've been keeping uh, vegan or vegetarian for the last while now, and I hope everything is looking up and up for you. Big up, Frank. What's up, Jordan? Seattle, Washington. Hope you're good. Hey, Matt, when am I going back to Jamaica? Can I get Mako on the line? I can't get him on the line, but I talked to him earlier today, and I just realized I have a little message for him on the phone for everyone. I'll have to put it on the Instagram later, though. He basically said, though, happy 420, don't do coke, blaze herb, legalize it, and bless up. That's the gist of what he said to me, literally. So I'll put that on our Raz Kitchen TV Instagram later because we talked for about 20 minutes today. And uh, yeah, I talked to Koopy this morning too, so everyone's doing good. 
Well, big up Chris. Where's my spliff? No, you're on time. I'm I'm probably gonna save it till after the broadcast, just so YouTube doesn't. I don't know. YouTube's picky these days with any kind of herb related content. Unfortunately, it hasn't caught up with the rest of the world, or not the rest of the world, but with Canada or California or countries that have legalized it. Agent Wow, love you and your mates. Wish you all. Good health, big ups from South Carolina. Thank you, Agent Wow, big up to you. Tony Sparky in Toronto, yeah. Bless up, hope you're staying warm today. Mope was just on the yard, he said he was working on the road because he got a new van, right? So I think he is working on the road, like making a parking space for it, I believe. Maybe even a little cover for it. I didn't quite catch exactly what was going on, but he was doing something with that. Hey Matt, I love Mocha's new van. It's awesome that I rode in his new van yet. I have not, but I'm sure next time I go, I'll probably be driving that thing. Hey Eric Kornak, what's up? How's it going? Big up to you. Nice to see you here. <laughs> William Cordova, no coke. Big respect. Keep it, I tell. Keep it lean, keep it green. Hey, NJ, love from Scarborough, big up to you. I love going to Scarborough. I'm at the Bluffs all the time. Scarborough Bluffs, my favorite place. Rain, shine, snow, sun, anyway. 20G, yes, I'm at home right now in Ontario. Yeah. <laughs> DNK, Matthew got birthday today, so everybody forgets that since Blaze is hard on 420 big up. Not my birthday, but let's all celebrate 420 together. Why not? Sammy, potheads. Okay. <laughs> Nicholas wrecked Sammy. Sammy, do not blaze the sacrament one love from a jamaican in england big up god's child no respect to you man how come back to nz i would love to be back in nz right now i see videos from my friends going to festivals and concerts and all kinds of awesome stuff in new zealand i was just thinking about that today this is the first winter where i didn't get to travel anywhere in both probably six seven years my first winter here so i was thinking man i wish i was in new zealand summertime right about now or i guess it's fall now for you guys but i love new zealand i lived in wellington i lived in a van there for like four months had a little parking spot on a marae and i would do gardening work in exchange for the parking spot but i could use their shower and Actually, a lot of the Ross Kitchen videos you saw in 2015, 2016, I was editing from the van or at the Marai there. So, yeah, a lot of the early stuff is actually kind of made in New Zealand. Yeah. I'm watching your channel. Friendship with Moko is very strong. I'm to the world. Big up from Philippines. Big up to you. Love Philippines. I'd love to get there sometimes. No big up to Air Philippines, though, or Philippine Airlines. They still owe me 400 bucks. They canceled my flight last year, and it's been over a year since I had to leave early, and they're still messing around with me, not crediting me back for the flights that they canceled. So love Philippines. Do not like Philippine Airlines. Felipe, called Koopy, but couldn't understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's tough to understand on the phone sometimes. So if you want to hang out with Malko on the yard, there's a new Airbnb that they're all handling. I'm not involved anymore, but I updated all the links on rustkitchen.com, all the links below the YouTube videos. So just click on the Airbnb. That's the best way if you want to check it out, Felipe. So please do that. CMPR more. It snowed this morning. Where are you at? Where I heard there was going to be snow here, but it wasn't, it wasn't even that cold, I think. John was working all day in Brampton, putting water main valves in the street, and it was cold. Okay, I must have gone out in the afternoon when it had kind of warmed up. I was thinking about going and surfing today because there's waves out on Lake Huron, but I just didn't feel like doing a drive. It's a three-hour drive for me, pretty much. Trevor Wilson, 
Howdy from Denver. Did I watch the new Andy Anderson video? I did. I love that Andy Anderson is doing his thing. It's so rad. Creativity, uniqueness. Sometimes in skateboarding, people say it's all about creativity and individuality, but really there is kind of a uniform and tricks you're supposed to do and not supposed to do. I love that Andy just says, fuck everything and does whatever he wants he's so unique and gnarly and i heard that he has the best selling board in the world right now and i think he deserves it so massive respect to andy anderson i hope i can meet that dude someday oh no way francis bigger from wellington Porirua. awesome that's just north north wellington right i believe so if i remember my brain's kind of going off Oh, DNK. DNK has got a birthday today. All right, big up to you then. Jay Cal 94. Love watching the channel, seeing the growth. How do you deal with all the traveling? It's actually not that much traveling. I'm on a usual year. I'm in Jamaica two or three times. So it's not really a ton of traveling. I actually am not there a ton of time. I'll usually go for 10 days to three weeks, depending on what's going on. So yeah, traveling is pretty easy. Lately, the last time I was there, it was relatively easy, but definitely with the quarantine and people putting these tracking apps on your phone when you're in Jamaica is pretty strange. So that's the odd part. Big up Armando Maduro, Dominican Republic. I would love to go back to Dominican Republic. I was there once when I was a kid. Awesome. Still growing. Hey, Lennox, what are my plans, goals for the next outdoor grow? You know, I was thinking about that today. I'm definitely going to buy some feminized seeds this time. Or if I get back up to Sable Beach, I'll buy a couple clones. I'm not just doing random seeds anymore. I learned last year. And it was funny because my whole crew grew tons of herb last year. And like we all blaze a little but none of us are real smokers so everyone still actually has so much herb from last year so if we all grow again we're gonna have to figure out something to do with all the <laughs> all the herb we have i don't know i'd like to make gummies out of it somehow if we had a whole crew and had a bunch of herb make gummies out of it jarva legalize the shrooms i agree in canada you can get mushrooms so easily you just buy online. Like there's one that I use, uh, yeah, I like the microdose thing. So it's called magic. No, it's just called magic mushroom dispensary. So you just order online and they have 20, 30 different kinds of mushrooms from all over the world that you can get. So big fan of mushrooms. Same with Chaga, Lion's Mane. Um, for brain function in that. All right. John Hork, love watching your chill videos. Curious, what do I pay for my flights to Jamaica? I think the cheapest, cheapest I ever get, probably around 400. Um, lately, I've been going with Air Canada because sometimes those cheaper ones don't include luggage. And if I'm bringing a board or camera gear or extra luggage, you end up paying more money anyway. So with Air Canada, maybe around seven fifty, I'd say is a good, good amount. And I've been preferring Air Canada the last few years just because they tend to be on time, unlike some of the other companies like Caribbean Airlines or what else is there I've flown before. Um, yeah, I just go Air Canada because they do the direct to Kingston or, Mon or Mobe as well. And I've gone through the states before to try to do it cheaper, but it's just. For me, not worth it. Big up, Iquazora in Philippines, much respect. What's up, Geraldine? Rasta Frederick, best show on YouTube, thank you very much. That's wicked to hear, love that. Curtis, can of oil, bro, that's what you do with soup. It's no leaf, no matter, straight bud, high times, and compact, right? Big up. Matthijs, is that how I say it? Meester, big up. I would really love to go to Amsterdam. I've met a lot of Dutch people. 
when I'm in Indonesia surfing and they're always the coolest people. So big up to everyone in Amsterdam. Looks like a great city. Shout out from Itaroa, Brada. Hope you're safe and well. Hope you are too. Land of the long white cloud. I love your country so much. If I could uh, move anywhere in this world, it would probably be back to New Zealand or Australia. Those are my two like, favorite, favorite places. I need to spend some more time. If I had to go somewhere full time, all the time. Top Home Slice. Hey, man, me and my grandma I love watching your videos. Grass Kitchen is my favorite show. One love come from Cali. That's awesome. Big up to your grandma. Much respect. That's pretty awesome that you get to watch with your grandma. Corey, am I done making videos in Jamaica this year? No, I've actually got a ton of stuff left. I'm kind of busy with other projects and a little burnt out this whole pandemic thing and all kinds of uh, nonsense dealing with. I've been kind of just letting the YouTube chill a bit and working on other things, but I'm probably going to get back into it. And yeah, there's a lot of good content that we shot on the last trip. But yeah, I would like to go back soon. I don't know when exactly that's going to be. I, I really want to sort things out a little better and avoid quarantine and getting stuck if that's at all possible. Allegar Herman, you got all your friends watching. Wicked, I'd love to hear that. Respect. Marvin Sargent, Bahamas loves the videos. Very cool. I think I told this video before, but we're told this story before. I used to be a door to door salesman, and they'd have these competitions where if you hit enough sales, you'd win a vacation. It was actually kind of awesome for a little while. Um, Anyway, I want a vacation cruise to Bahamas with a bunch of my coworkers, but it was only a three day cruise. And yeah, it was very odd. It was New Year's. I got stuck on some other flight than almost everyone in the company. And I show up on this cruise to Bahamas and it's 11 o'clock at night and there's no one there that I know. It was very odd. And then I heard that their plane got stuck in Texas because of weather. So ended up having this New Year's cruise alone, basically, to Bahamas. And uh, I guess we were just working too hard because, you know, you spend your morning getting there half the day. The next day, you, you basically only get one afternoon in Bahamas. So we were just drinking all night and partying. And I think I ended up spending maybe one hour in Bahamas on that whole trip. And I went to Senior Frogs. So so embarrassing as a traveler to say that I did that, but that was the time. <laughs> that was the times. So I've been to Bahamas, but it was for an hour and it was to senior frogs. So it doesn't quite count. Hey Matthew, what's my European descent? I got my, uh, I got the genetic thing done. It was half Eastern European. It was all all around Eastern European. I got to look at it again. It was interesting. Thank you for shedding some amazing light on our small island. Thank you, Geraldine. Thanks for having such an awesome island that I love to visit. Kenny, how's Kelly doing? Kelly's my goat. She's doing good, I hear. Uh, it's hard to get details on the phone, to be honest, calling over there. So I wouldn't be surprised if I show up and maybe she's got kids or something like that, but I, I talked to Koopy today. I forgot to ask him. I'll have to see. Big Frost, traveling in for work in Texas. How's Texas right now? Tim Vloot, greetings from Holland. We'll roll a white widow in a couple minutes. Be careful, I heard that stuff strong. <clears throat> Moko's wife seems to have some circulation issues. Um, yeah, she has medication for that. I know a lot of people do comment about that. So I know everyone's heart's in the right place. When I've talked to her, she uh, already has medication for that. So um, would Moko ever paint and upgrade the huts? I'm sure he would. He just built a wicked 
I mean, not just, but within the last year, built an awesome three bedroom house. So plenty of time to improve the place. Hey, Bamboo Soldier, I'm using, or what camera I use in editing software. Big up to you and Cali Bay. I use Premiere. Honestly, anything works, whatever you get comfortable with. I like Premiere. Um, Final Cut's pretty cool though too. I haven't used it for a long time, but I heard good things about Final Cut X. I used to use that for a long time. Bamboo Soldier in Tahoe, nice. BC Buds are the best. Yes, they are. I would agree with that. I just saw it coming here. Muhammad, all of the dates on the Airbnb are booked. What's going on? The Airbnb is actually changed now. So like I said, I'm not involved. It's all under Mako's Airbnb. So same place, different account. So you got to message that when I'm not in, involved anymore, but there shouldn't be all booked. But there is a problem right now where people, a lot of people that were booking to go to Jamaica this year didn't realize they have to do a two-week quarantine before they go to the yard or go to the yard for two weeks and not move anywhere. So that doesn't jive with 99% of people's plans. So unfortunately, we were, um, when I was doing it, me and Erin, big up Erin in Florida, she was doing a lot of the back and forth and almost everyone was canceling because they would come and not be there long enough to visit and then unfortunately have to cancel. So make sure you check. It's visitjamaica.com, I believe. I'll put the URL here. Visitjamaica.com. Check that for the current rules because yeah, there's some nonsense going on there. We got jams. Have I ever been to England? Yeah, I used to live in England when I was a kid for one year. I lived in Exeter in 1989, a little while ago. So, yeah, England's awesome. I haven't been back since I was a teenager, probably. Big up John B, BC. You out there growing that BC bud, John? Love BC. Well, big up AG. Born Jamaican, respect. What do you got there? A huge piece of lettuce. That looks good. That thing's gigantic. It's bigger than your head. Holy. Big up. Is it pronounced Lathan? Big up from Kauai. Big fans of your, you. Big up to you. Love to go to Kauai. What's up? The Yayo from Panama. It's high time you allow Moko's kids to start their own channel. Allow, they do whatever they want. Nothing to do with me. Everyone's welcome to have a channel. Bloody hell, that's ages ago. Exeter is on the other part of the country. <laughs> yeah, it was ages ago. Yeah, I'm getting up there slowly. Everybody, right? Hey, Matt, big fan of Ross Kitchen all the way from St. Thomas. U.S. Virgin Islands, love the work you've been doing with Rasta and Mako. Much love and respect. Big up. Big up to you. I would love to get out to those other Caribbean places like Virgin Islands. It looks awesome. John. Big up, John. Great job, Matt. They try to duplicate you, but your show is the best. Maybe you should visit Jason in Chucky's place. Yeah, I would love to go out to Rusty Rasta Chucky. I actually talked to him on the phone a few weeks ago. Backpacking Simon was over there and I was keeping in touch with Simon about what's going on in Jamaica. And yeah, I got to talk to Chucky on the phone for a bit. So Chucky is an awesome guy. I actually haven't met him in person, just messaged and talked on the phone, but would definitely like to reach out to Chucky in Portland next time I'm over there. And backpacking Simon, I think he just got a ton of good content with Chucky, and he was on the yard with Moko too. So big up Simon, travel safe wherever you're at right now. North Six James, can you make some weed brownies on the show? That would be cool. That would be cool.
ESLT, been watching you mock for years. Thanks for the awesome content. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching for years. That's wicked. Down on 66. Love from Ireland. I'll tell Malku he's a legend. I will. I'm sure I'll talk to him soon. Or he might even be listening right now. So, Moko, if you're listening, you're a legend. You already know that, though. The Wi-Fi in the yard has been a lot better lately, or the service. So, oftentimes, when I've done shows, they've been able to watch it. So, Koopy, Moko, Shana, Chanel, Rat Rat, if you're watching, what's up? Hope to see you guys soon. Vidact, how's my 420 been so far? How 420 has my 420 been so far? Not as 420 as your picture. <laughs> That's an awesome picture. I actually haven't got into it yet. I'm going to celebrate after this. Just been working all day. It's tax season too over here. So I've been dealing with that stuff. And I'll probably blaze my special homegrown and hopefully play some Population One on the Oculus. Uh, Whatever it's called, Oculus headset too. Been mad into the VR games lately. It's hilarious. They got Mark Roberts, Kiaora, New Zealand. Where are you at in New Zealand? I love New Zealand. I don't have. I can't say enough good things about it. Oh, I lost my space here. Sorry, Brianna. You watched all the videos already. There's one good one coming on Friday. And we are going to get back to the cooking thing. There's some really good cooking stuff. Mock and I shot, and I think the next one we're going to do is an Ital sip, a wicked Ital one. How much splits does Mock was smoking a day? Probably not as many as you'd think. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. You gotta ask him, but not probably not as many as you think. North Six James, love the farming part of the show. A lot of hard work in such a beautiful place. The gods are watching. Cool, cool. Yeah, I love the farming videos too. It's fun. We got some really good hiking videos actually. Koopy and Ratsy and I did a hike up to this ruins of an old plantation. It's a really cool video, so I can't wait to get editing on that one. Yo, Steve, Mr. Matt, love your interaction with Ratty and you being a mentor to him. Big up. Thank you very much. He's a mentor to me, too. He teaches me stuff from the farm and the yard and recognizing plants and all kinds of stuff. So it's a good, you know, mentor mentee both ways with Ratty. So he's very intelligent for his age. He knows a lot about nature, a lot more than most kids. So it's really cool to see. And that's something. I really admire about Rat Rat. At what age do they start smoking in Jamaica? Will Ratty ask permission to smoke in a few years? I don't know. Probably like anywhere. Most people wait until they're a little older. Not sure. John B, more skateboarding vids wouldn't hurt. I agree. There's actually two videos I got to edit still and put out. One's checking out that Bull Bay skate park. The new one, that's so nice. And then the other one, there's a bowl, and more than a bowl, it's like a whole transition skate park in Boston. So I got two videos to put out about that. Rich Madrigal, that Carvalho Ross Kitchen song hit perfect this morning. Oh yeah, we did that video with Carvalho. That guy's a great producer. Scott, Scott, love the mystical level footy cruising for footage. Visit Santa Cruz someday. Yeah, I would love to visit Santa Cruz. I've passed through Santa Cruz, but I've never really spent a lot of time there. So, Peter Benson, just started watching the show last month. Super clutch because I learned how to clip bud. <laughs> nice. I got a lot. There's actually a split chat I got to put, put out where we're just trimming herb the whole time. It's pretty funny. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff. Big up to you and your wifey. It's awesome. Would I consider to relocate permanently to Jamaica? I don't think so. You know, I really, I love Canada. I got a lot of friends here, family here. And it's it's nice most of the time, but I would absolutely love to spend a few months in Jamaica every year, more than I have been. So I don't know if I like being anywhere permanently, you know, but. 
Kyle Ann, do I smoke THC exclusively or do I enjoy some CBD bud at times? If I'm going to blaze, I usually just blaze regular herb. Um, maybe I should try CBD. I don't know. What do you guys think about CBD? I'm not sure about it yet. I'm undecided. Every time I've taken it, and I know there's not supposed to be any psycho lot or psychedelic effects of it, but I don't notice anything, any other benefits either. I don't find I sleep better. I don't find I get more relaxed. I don't find I'm more productive. All these claims about CBD, I haven't experienced them yet. So I'm not saying it's bullshit and I'm not saying it's, um, it's you know not right or whatever. I just haven't personally got the effect. So maybe I haven't had the right products or I haven't taken enough. I don't know. Does CBD do anything for you? I don't know. Maybe it's just a big hustle because I see a lot of CBD companies popping up and selling products and do they do anything? I don't know yet. Undecided. Allegar, where else in Caribbean have I been? I've been to Cuba, Dominican, Bahamas, senior frogs. Uh, where else have I been? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is cool. I really love Puerto Rico. Cuba is really cool too. Well, they're all they're all cool. I was just there in uh, Dominican when I was younger, so Puerto Rico sticks out to me for sure. CBD gummies help me with sleep and anxiety. Okay, good, because I have friends and they say it absolutely helps them sleep. So I need to maybe give it another try. Zigzag CBD is weak. Okay. Why has the type of bud that you won't be able to handle? Uh oh. John says CBD is boring. 27 films. I have not been to Big Island. I have not been to Big Island yet. Um, I have been to Oahu though. And I was so stoked because I was skateboarding up the street somewhere in Honolulu there and I went by dog the bounty hunters bail bond company to kind bail bonds it was right there it just was kind of mind-blowing that it, it just has a bail bonds office and it was right there you know you see it on tv and then you just are going by oh my god this is dog the bounty hunters business right here awesome Justin CBD is good for sleep and joint pain you may need a high dose I think that's it. That's what I mentioned about the dose thing. My friend Shano, I don't know the exact amount that he takes, but he says it is amazing for his sleep. So maybe I just need to bump that up. Unleash RCs. Love the Judge Abel videos. Dope music. Yeah, I really hope I can link up with Judge Abel again, aka Buru. I haven't seen him in a couple of years. So hopefully get up back to the Nyabingi community up there. It's a really, really cool place. John B knows athletes take CBD for muscle inflammation. Okay. When did I start skating and smoking? It's funny that you asked that as if it's one question, like they would both start at the same time, but it's kind of true. So I had a skateboard when I was a kid, but I guess I really started in grade seven. So 1993, summer of 93, I think. 94, maybe. I don't remember. And smoking, I guess I first tried herb when I was, I don't know, probably just before high school or around there. Big up people's Aguilar. My brother and I love your channel. Love the way you communicate with people in Jamaica. Big up, big up to you. Thanks for donating. That's wicked. Try eating brownies. You'll feel it. CBD? Isn't the point not to feel it though? Act. For me personally, it makes the high feel more normal. You're still high, but CBD helps you handle it. Okay, that's actually ideal for me because I'm, I'm a, not that I'm a lightweight. I just prefer more mellow kind of herbs. So it's nice, Sperminsky. It's nice if you enjoy the flavor of weed, but don't want to be stoned all the time. Okay, social, social weed, right? Big up peoples. William, all 
Jamaican tropical fruit waiting. Yes, indeed. Zach Miller. Oh, where did you comment? Scotty Vokes. Say, yeah, I know backpacking Simon. I, I talked to backpacking Simon relatively often on what's out there. Crunchy thought, do they sell Chinese food in Jamaica? Yeah, there's tons of Chinese Jamaicans. And there's some, yeah, some good Chinese food out there too. Or Chinese influence food too. So oh, we got some trolls. I didn't see any trolls. Make sure you find actual cannabis derived CBD. Most legal CBD is processed from industrial hemp and seems to lack effect. Aha. So Dixie, this is a very interesting point because yeah, as with anything, there's going to be the good quality and then the sort of mass marketed stuff that makes all these claims. So this is interesting. I'm going to have to maybe find some higher potency CBD and then see if that makes a difference. They get Jadir Pura, Pura Vida, bless up, love Costa Rica. Justin, your camera work and editing are very good. So is your background music. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Sometimes I like I know I could do a lot better if I had more time to spend on videos, but with YouTube, you really have to crank it out. You can't spend forever on one video. So I've been trying to get less precious with it. So. I appreciate that. With music, I I take so much time picking the right music for it. It has to be good. I have to enjoy it. And music is a big part of it. So thanks for noticing. Why do tomatoes not grow in the yard there? I asked Durette this. I don't know. They don't grow tomatoes. I'm not sure why. Big up Keith Graham. What's up from Ontario? Happy 420. John, what do I never see you guys fishing? I think it would make a cool video. We have fishing. We're going pop fishing for Tom Tom with Koopy and Rafi. Uh, I went ocean fishing with. Uh, oh man, that was a while ago. I went. I went fishing for lobster with with some guys. So there's some videos about that. That was a couple of years ago. And I'm gonna hang out. I really want to go back and hang out with Jamaica Food Boss because he's a free diver. He gets all kinds of awesome stuff. So big up Matt, Jamaica Food Boss. Check out his channel. Matt is the man. I'm actually really stoked to go back to Mobe so I can hang out with Jamaica Food Boss Matt. And uh, lift foil. I want to do some e foiling too. I got to get some uh, links here. Check out Jamaica Food Boss, proper foodie. Tours everyone around the island in a wicked vehicle. Take you wherever you want. Check out Jamaica Food Boss. I just put a comment here for Jamaica Food Boss. Envision TM. Hey, what do I think of the weed here from Rio from the time I lived here? It was the worst. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. The, in Rio de Janeiro, when I was there, it was brown, swaggy brick weed, so compressed and so hard with seeds and it was just terrible. So I would barely smoke when I was down there because the quality was so bad. So sorry to say, maybe it's changed since then because that was a long time since I was doing that, getting up to 20 years now, but. You better work vlog. King Kirk is doing good. I talked to Reese today. That's his friend that helps him out with stuff and works, makes beats with him, so. Turkey's doing good. He's re um, replacing or rebuilding the house. The fundraiser we did actually raised a lot more money than I expected. So Reese is shooting some video for me, and I'm going to get that back and share that with everyone. But yeah, Kirk's doing real good. So massive respect to everyone that donated to Kirk. It was very surprising to me how many people shared some good vibes and shared some dollars. It was pretty awesome. Jire, what a job. Bless this man. National Geographic was a dream of mine. Driving trucks now. Do you know what? I used to be a door-to-door -door salesman for a long time, on and off for 15 years pretty much, even up until about two years ago I was doing that. There were a lot of traveling and a lot of driving, and I, I actually miss 
the driving part. I definitely don't miss the constant hustle of that job. But the being on the road part, sometimes, I, yeah, I, I really like that. Going to new cities and time on the road, listening to good music, seeing the country. So big up to you. Enjoy, enjoy what you can, you know. Abdul Fortana buy some Doge. Yeah, I was talking with my brother about this the other day. Yeah, I should have. <laughs> hey, hard to tell. Who would have thought Dogecoin would blow up? Is anyone a crypto person out there? I was talking with my brother about this too. I was hoping maybe if I put up a, a crypto wallet, people that like the show can help me out. Maybe send me some Dogecoin or something. So anyway, if there's any crypto people out there, let me know. Because I would love to uh, put up a little crypto wallet. Anyway, respect. What's up, Hope Faith? Matthew in the building. Shout out. Say hello. I'm going to guess that says hello to Rat Rat in the gang for me. We'll do. Rick Barr, Matt, come to Trinidad. Eat some real curry. Yes. Curry, duck, and goat with a bus up shot roti. Yes. That sounds so good. I've never been to Trinidad. I want to go so much. I have friends from there. I love the food. The training accent is rivals Jamaica for world's coolest accent. And yeah, I would I would absolutely love to go to Trinidad. So hope to see you there soon. I don't know if Trinidad's accepting any tourism. You know, it's Trinidad's kind of amazing. They don't depend on tourism for their economy, right? So close the borders. We don't want to deal with COVID stuff, but hopefully that's getting better. Robert Lucier, hey man, how you doing? Yeah, great to hear about Kirk. Yeah, he was pretty pretty stoked. I didn't get to talk to him personally yet, but Reese was saying he wanted to give me a call. So, yo Matthew, shout out to Secuzinho Brazil. <laughs> Jesus, I was like, this sounds like a funny, funny city. So, Kid Malfisto is trying to trick my ass. And getting me to shout out my own little ass. <laughs> Seo Cusinho. Very good. I, I respect you for that, Kid Malfisto. Vai tomar no cu. That was good. What's up, Will R? Much love from Cali. <laughs> yeah, I got you, kid. I, I heard that. Reverend Love, has Mako changed his ringtone? Yeah, I... I don't think so. I think it's still the Bieber one. I'll let you know. But yeah, the one time it rang on the on the farm there, it was a different ring. I don't know. Glenn Oakley, where in Lake did you go surfing? I've been surfing in Lake Huron mostly the last few weeks. Been out a little bit. Vinicia Squale. Lake Erie. Yeah, I had a pretty fun Erie day too. Maybe, yeah, maybe three weeks ago. The snow melted pretty early here, so it's actually been pretty fun. Oh, look at this. Wordzine. Varney. Love you, Varney. Wordzine. Best skateboard zine in the world. Gonna do a Jamaica trip. Yeah, it's almost time. Once things improve, brother, we're going to go and link up for sure. Get all those crusty street spots and hit up those nice parks. I was actually watching some footage of you today because I was going through an old hard drive trying to find something. And there was footage of Varney and your little bro skateboarding. And it's stuff that I filmed of you guys. Jeez, when was that? 2007. So a good 14 years ago. So. Gee, did Mark Weens have a blaze with me and Mako? <laughs> it seemed like he was straight as a crack up. It seemed like a straight as was crack up seeing him with all you. He's loved the channel. All the best from Aotearoa. Aotearoa? Ah, why do I have a hard time saying that? I know that. Land of the long like, white cloud. Yeah, he did not have a blaze, but he did have some ganja tea. And he filmed the ganja tea and drank it on his own episode, which I thought was awesome. So on camera before he shot it he's like what's in the tea I said, ganja but when you describe it just say there's herbs in it 
So, okay, herbs tea, yeah. So yeah, Mark had the herb tea. Shamila, hi Matthew, I watch your show all the time. I never miss any of your show. Big up from Trinidad. Big up to you, Shamila. Like I said, I can't wait to get to Trinidad. I could go for some doubles right now. You know what? Maybe I'm gonna order some doubles. Maybe I'll get some chili food on Uber Eats after this. Envision TM, what was my favorite beer from Brazil? Well, we definitely drank a lot of Skull, but my favorite beer, Bohemia. Bohemia was my favorite. I didn't like that much Itaipava. Skull's pretty good, but Bohemia, that was a damn good beer. I love that. Armando, I missed your super chat. Oh no. Big up K Callisto super sticker. Sorry, Armando. What, uh, what did you say? I missed it, brother. How do I get it back? Sorry, Armando. I don't know how to get it back. I'm kind of using a new platform here. It's really good. It's called StreamYard. If anyone is doing YouTube streaming, this is a really good way to do it. StreamYard.com. It makes it so easy. In the last five years, since I started doing live broadcasts, it's kind of finicky and you have to use certain software and I've really messed it up. But this stuff has been really easy to use. I'm a big fan of StreamYard. Shiny G, big up from Liverpool, UK. Big up, big up. Malt water and the other stuff. <laughs> Sunflower is driving in Jamaica crazy. Not really. It's actually pretty chill. I mean, some of the country roads get pretty tight. Um, I'll usually ding up my rental vehicle in some format when I'm there. But overall, it's not that crazy. And you know, especially if you live in a city, living here in Toronto, there's a lot of traffic. And you know, the roads are bigger, but driving around Kingston isn't that that crazy, to be honest. So I think Jamaican drivers are pretty good. What's up with the new van on the yard? Who drives? This is a good question. I don't know. I think Simon was uh, helping out Malco with driving. I'm probably going to drive when I'm there. I don't know. He, he's probably going to hire some local people, which is another awesome thing about owning that van. Yes, big up Jay. Happy 420 from the Carnahans. Love the Carnahans. Love you, Jay. Hope you're doing good. Jay, maybe you can hook me up with some good CBD because I know you're in the business. So uh, we were talking about CBD oil before and does it help or does it do nothing? And we'll have to talk to you about that. So much respect. Hopefully we can go for a little skate rip or uh, sup or I want to get one of those lift e-foil boards you and your brother and we can go for a rip i'm gonna save our pennies for those though fenton ever tried magnum tonic wine yeah it is <laughs> terrible so bad in my opinion just my opinion i'm not saying it is bad or isn't bad but oh bamboo soldier i don't think you've seen any bugs What's the bug situation like? It's not crazy. When I was there in October, which I don't recommend going in October, it's it can be very rainy and that's when the bugs come out. I mean, same here, same in Canada, but it was extra buggy and a lot of mosquitoes last time I was there. Um, not like crazy dangerous bugs or anything like that. I saw some Goliath beetles before. Those are really cool, the huge ones with the giant horns on them. So that's a wicked wicked bug that I saw there. Coma style surf in Jamaica. It's actually pretty good. There's some really good waves. If you follow an Instagram account, check out Ika Wilmot. He's a pro surfer from Jamaica and he's really, really good. Got some sick ones. And there's another surfer that's amazing. I've never met him. His name's Garen Price. He is gnarly. You see a photo of him and he's sending 
spray so far. He is just destroying the stuff. So check out Garen or Ica. Some really good stuff. Armando, I need to go Caribbean side of Nicaragua, particularly Corn Island, where people speak English, Spanish, and Mosquito language. Whoa. I have not been to Corn Island. I've been to Nicaragua before. All right, Jay, I'm going to get some education from Jay. Big up to you. Oscar de Oya, hello from Costa Rica. Pierre de Vida, where in Costa Rica are you from? Had some real good times on Nicoya Peninsula. Hey, Ben, do you remember meeting me at the skate park in King City? Yeah, yeah, totally. That was in the summer. Big up to you, man. Hope you're doing good. Happy 420 to you. I was out with a dislocated finger, but my finger is kind of back in effect. So I've been skateboarding more and now that the weather's warming up. So hopefully I'll catch you up there sometime too. And Ben, have you seen that DIY skate park in Richmond Hill? Really dope. Christian Flores, how much does Moco smoke? Only as much as he needs. Big up San Antonio. Mosisto language, okay. Hey, Chris, is this the same Chris that I know from England? What's up, Matthew? When are you going to be flying back to Jamaica to record some new Ross Kitchen? I'm not sure. I talked to Moko this morning, though, and he seemed pretty keen. So hopefully we can uh, shoot some more stuff. Big up, Che, Justine. Happy 420 from Brooklyn. Big up to you. Nicoya was an Indian chief from the south part of Nicaragua. Okay, I guess why they called the Nicaragua or the Nicoya Peninsula. That makes sense. I also had some good times in Manuel Antonio. I really like that place too. Global Boy David, can I call Moko? Keep the channel watching since 100K subs. I'm really happy that you succeed. Thank you. I'm not going to call him now. I already talked to him today, but we'll definitely do some live stuff some other time when I'm on the island. Unfortunately, without the subtitles and the quality of the phone, it's hard to hard to uh, get the proper quality out for people to, to understand there. And we tried it before, it just didn't work so good, so. John, hey Matt, can you please share some of the music you use in the Ross Kitchen videos? I love the Roots Reggae vibes, but can never find a good playlist. Peace, man. All the links for the music are below the videos. Um, one of my favorite artists for the last couple of years that makes dub stuff is Bry Zion. Look him up. He's amazing. He's from California. And he's so wicked. So check out Bry Zion. I'll just put his name down there. You can Google him. And yeah, I should do a Spotify playlist. People have been telling me that for a while. I should do a Spotify list. Envision TM, you're before. 100k too you were way before 100k i remember your name from maybe even like 10k so envision you've been around forever rachel harmony irie matthew from the uk how does the jamaican ganja compared to canada's finest honestly i think canada's finest is some of the best in the world so but i'm sure if you took top tier jamaica and top tier canada they would be on par. But I'd say on average, the herb that you get in Canada is much better. But I personally prefer the herb in Jamaica because it's way more mellow. You can kind of blaze and enjoy it and socialize. Veg genome. I love Ross Kitchen, big fan of Montreal. Curious how old is Ratty Hold is Koopy? Big it up in Happy Trails. Is Ratty eight now? Wow. Koopy, I just talked. It was Koopy's birthday like a week ago. I think he's mid-30s. I forget. We're pretty close in age. I'm, I'm older than him by a few years. But Hey, man, are there different strains of weed in Jamaica and when am I back with Mako? Not sure, Danny. I'm sure there's a ton of different strings one that i'd really like to try is called lamb's bread that's the one that you hear in a lot of reggae songs from the 70s a really great strain apparently so if anyone's got some 
seeds or clones I can get of some lamb's bread? Send me a, a message, please. Terrence, where am I right now? I'm just at home in my living room in Canada. LeBlanc James, love Floridian weed. Cuba would have the best potential. Okay. Could be. What's up, bro God? Yes, bro God. Love from Trinidad and Tobago. Much love. You're making a gaming fishing log on the beach in Cuba? That's wicked. Keep in touch. I would love to get back to Cuba. Bless up. How much do you crash and pass the Dutch to Mo Moco? I don't know. <laughs> Curious Alexander, 10 years of Ross Kitchen is still putting in the work. Congratulations. You're really showing people the real vibe. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I can't believe it's been 10 years either. That's a long time. And yeah, hopefully we can keep going, you know, keep spreading the good vibes, creativity, keep it going. It's still fun for me. So as long as Moko's down, I'm down to keep, keep it going. You know, why not? Where's the two other brothers that used to live on the yard? Yeah, they're, they're around. They have their own places though. So yeah, one of them's up around Yalis, one, another one's around somewhere close by in St. Thomas. Kenny, how's the weather like in November? I want to do a trip for your birthday. Kenny, I think November is actually a good time to go because the rainy season's kind of ending there. And I love Jamaica like in December. So you're just getting into that nice nice time there i mean it's always pretty nice but if you can avoid the rain definitely we got nicholas muhammad in trinidad love y'all ross yard cooking up in jamaica big up 420 happy 420 to everybody shiny g okay smoke plenty of lamb's bread and red beard in the 80s i haven't heard of red beard but that's interesting to hear about the lamb spread do you find it hard to find as well or have you seen that strain around? Because I don't know if it's that easy to get anymore. Glow boy, have I ever chopped Moko's tree logs or helped chop some foods with him? No, when he's chopping stuff, he's doing his own thing. And Koopa usually handles all the chop chop stuff, so. Jamaican kids come out of the womb shredded. Jamaicans just on average look way more fit than everyone else in the world. Uh, they're, they're blessed. <laughs> like Koopy's never been to a gym a day in his life. He's totally jacked. So trying to keep up with Koopy. If I decided to buy a little bit of land near Moko, I'm still interested. I haven't found anything solid yet. I got to save up a bit too, but um, I looked into it a bit and there's some reasonable plots of land you can get for, especially when you get in towards the mountains, you can get some pretty, pretty good prices. I would really like to have something near the water. So I don't know if I can afford it one day. I'd like to get something maybe between St. Thomas and Portland. It would be really cool to have something with surf right nearby. That would be a pretty big dream of mine. So Maybe someday. Epps Crafts, do I have a goat? I do have a goat. Yeah. Kelly, Durette's taking care of her, so. Yeah. You better work blog. Have to buy now. The land prices are going up. Interesting. Yeah, I would have thought with the tourism being down that the, the prices wouldn't move too much, but. Yeah, better to pull the trigger rather than wait, you know? There's no no risk, no reward. Bunny Birdie Gator. What's up, Bunny Birdie? I know Bunny Birdie Gator from way back, too. I remember her commenting on the channel probably when we had less than 10,000 subs. So hope you're doing good, Bunny. Big up to you and your family. What's up, Andy Nalf, Wigwam? Yes, Andy from Ajax. Need to come check Guyana one day. I would love to check Guyana. 
one of my good friends growing up, Damien, his parents are from Guyana, so we always got to have some good roti growing up. Kind of spoiled, actually, with my friends from – I grew up with all from different countries, and you get to enjoy all this awesome homemade cuisine from all these different places. So I love that about Canada and especially Ontario and Toronto area. It's so international. We just get – Everything. It's awesome. Envision buy the land version on NFT. <laughs> yeah, maybe we're something. Absolutely. Brave new world, right? Anyone else know about uh, NFT stuff? Crypto vibes? Very interesting. I love it. I think it's so cool. Did Kelly get a permanent shelter bill? Now, this is an issue for me because I paid someone before I left a good amount of money just to make something out of scraps because from Koopy's house I was getting rebuilt. And I heard they didn't build it. And then there was a little bit of drama getting the money back. Not that I, not even really getting the money back, but just like give it to someone who's going to use it or build it. Don't just take the money and don't build the thing. Anyway, I don't know if she has a shelter yet. I really hope she does, but I've been trying to get on that. I'll have to ask Koopy again. What are my thoughts about dabbing SoCal Garden Adventures? I don't dab. That seems for people that can really handle, handle the herb, and that's not me, so... Chris, I should build it myself. I absolutely should. I brought tools there. We have this stuff. It was just, we kind of got Kelly towards the end of the trip and Koopy's house hadn't been fixed up yet. So we didn't have the materials to build it. But yeah, hopefully there is a, uh, a shelter or something. My birthday is in September. Wisdom strap up. You made two crochet hats from Oko. Uh, I do have a PO box, so if you can message me on Instagram or something, uh, I can send you a PO box. Something small like that, I don't mind bringing for them. Lucy Bailey, do you have any advice on moving to Jamaica? Does Mocha have a barber at his yard? No, I don't think there's a barber on the yard. Although someone put up a Ras Kitchen hair care thing, somehow jumping on the name to get business. I don't know how that works, but... Do I have any advice on moving to Jamaica? I don't actually, because I just visit, right? So unfortunately, I don't really know what to tell you. That piffs, why, more, why no more cooking vids? I've been kind of burnt and working on other stuff. So I've been putting out kind of the easier to edit content lately, but there's some more good cooking stuff coming up, so. It's coming along. How really good is Moko's food? There are some things that Moko makes that are just 10 out of 10. So my favorites are any of his chicken dishes, any of his rundowns, and those are my favorite. So asking for a rundown if you want to get your mind blown. That's the best one. Mehonas Seliu, what's up? Blessings to you. Thank you so much for checking out my channels. I know your name from way long ago too, probably before we had 10,000 subs too. So I appreciate you checking this out and my other channel too, which I keep trying to keep up weekly. Um, kind of succeeding the last few months. So please check out my other channel. It's called Earthly Eats. And thank you for watching that one. Devin, big up to you. Thanks for the kind words. I really appreciate it. Much respect. Vaping cat, <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> That's great. Do I have any animals at home? I don't yet, but... I'm probably going to have a, a cat soon. So, yes, I'll have to teach the cat how to vape. Oh, 
Psychotropic Founder, do I have any insights on foreigners buying land in Jamaica? I don't have a ton of insight, but I believe as a foreigner, you can buy property in Jamaica, but I haven't gone through any of the legwork or, you know, gone through anything serious other than just looking at places, calling a couple uh, numbers of signs that I see of properties that I've seen around. So yeah, I'm not sure yet. Definitely not an expert. I have no idea. Joe Nudes, you can get lamb's bread string at Epican Herb House, Kingston. Keep the gun to burning. Okay, I'll have to do that. LH, Lake, Lake, Lake. Does Malcolm mess with any psychedelics? I don't believe so, but you'd have to ask him. When am I going to have my next live chat? I don't know. I keep saying I'm going to do one every month, and then I realized I hadn't done one since end of November. So I'll say this. Maybe I'll try to do one in May, try to get back to the month-by-month -month thing. Robert Lund, did the movie My Octopus Teacher make me feel differently about catching and eating wild sea creatures? That's a good question, actually. It did make me think about that. Um eating other intelligent creatures from the sea, like an octopus. And then I also thought, you know, that octopus is a predator to all kinds of other creatures too. So, uh, I don't know. It definitely made me think about it. That's a great movie, but that's an interesting question, comment for sure. Ryan D, nothing like a three hour drive to Kingston, Ontario for Bud. Oh, was that Kingston, Ontario? I thought you meant Kingston, Jamaica. But I would like to go to Kingston, Ontario. Kingston's a great city. Globoy David, when's my birthday? Because I never told it. And why didn't I make a video celebration? Mine's uh, September 17th. I don't know. I, I don't know. I wouldn't make a video for my own birthday. <laughs> Other people. Chris Alexander, top three countries. That's a tough one. Lately, my favorite's Indonesia, though. I've been to Indonesia every year. Well, I guess I was there in 2020, so every year for the last five years, I've gone to Indo. So I love Indo. Love Australia. And... Yeah, Jamaica. So my top three right now would be Indo, Australia, Jamaica. But I have a lot more traveling to do. There's a lot of places that I have not been. Big up Skis Fernando. Dope show, brethren. Big up Ross. Ross Smoke on your bad self. Big up to you. Much respect. Vaping Cat. <laughs> I visit Canada. I'm here right now, brother. I'm right in it. Oscar Vila. What's up, Maddie Greens from Costa Rica? Mark reminds us of our Caribbean side. Yes. I need to visit that Caribbean side. I've been to Costa Rica a few times. And like I said, I just end up hanging, not always on the Koya, but um, Haco and, and Manuel Antonio on that. But I, I would love to check out the Caribbean side. Naturally organic. I would love to visit Africa. I want to go to Ethiopia. I can speak a bit of Portuguese. So I was actually thinking... I would love to visit a Portuguese speaking part of Africa, like uh, Angola and South Africa too. Those are just the few places that first pop into mind. So Ethiopia, Angola, South Africa, those are on the menu, I hope. Hey, Travis Baxter, big up, love you in the videos. I've been watching since 2017. So I have to be a good person like you when I meet people that are not from my nationality. Big up, man. I right, thank you. That's such a nice compliment. Much respect. Thanks for watching. Joe Noons, where's Loretta at? She's just next door. She's just right over here. It's almost garden time. I'm gonna see my neighbors a whole lot. Oscar, I have to come to Limon and bring Moko here. He would be mad, Ross. Yeah. Are there a lot um Oscar, are there a lot of Rastas in Limon? I heard there's quite a bit of uh that vibe. So I'm going to add that on the list of things I need to check out. 
Next time I'm in Jamaica, Imon, Costa Rica. All right. Chris, everyone wants to know about the herbs. Has Moko got high grade on the yard or is it just bushweed? He's got everything, everything you want. There's all kinds of different stuff. People come and bring him herbs from different places all over the world. I don't know if you noticed on the pictures of his house, but there's that one tree that is seriously 12, 14 feet high that he said some Russian guests brought for him. So I don't know if the seeds were from Russia, but there were some magical seeds, whatever happened. So, yeah. Alex Falcon, I have to check with Venezuela. I would love to. Uh, there's a guy I follow on Instagram, and I'm blanking on his name right now. Um, he's a traveler. He's from the States. He does all these wicked travel and cultural videos, but he just did a whole series on Venezuela. He's going to come to Jamaica. I can't believe I'm blanking on his name right now. He's a big travel vlogger. <laughs> he's got great stuff. He, like, hangs out with the tallest man in the world and... He does all this wild, wild travel stuff. Anyone remember his name? Drew. Is it Drew? Anyway, check out Drew. I'll put I'll post his, his link below. He's cool. Drew Binsky, that's it. I can't. Drew. Drew. I'm sorry, I forgot. I couldn't. I just blanked. It's 420. I blanked. What can I say? Thank you, DNJ Pythons. Drew Binsky. That's who I'm talking about. When I come into the L-O-N-D-O-N, I don't know. I really want to come back to a lot of places, but this corona stuff is fucking up my plans pretty bad. Wow, a lot of people from Costa Rica. This is wicked. Giancarlo, big up from Heredia, Costa Rica. Limona is amazing. Okay, so definitely got to check that out. Oscar, how can I add you to Instagram? My name on Instagram is Jabap. It's at Jabap. So you can find me on Instagram. And yeah, Oscar, you're a reggae musician. Wicked. Okay, hit me up. Zachy Chan, happy 420 from Vancouver Island. How does the pricing looks? How does the pricing look for flights to Canada to Jamaica? It looks pretty much the same. It's it seems to be pretty standard these days, so you're probably in, I don't know about from West Coast, but if you're going direct from Toronto here, you can get a good flight for probably six, 600, 700, I'm guessing, around there. Maybe less right now because of Corona stuff, but yeah. Come to the UK. Someday I need to come back to UK. No doubt. Oh, I missed a gift here. Kate okay, Callisto, big up, big up. All right, guys, it's about uh, 8.19 here. So it's about time for me to go and enjoy my 420. So I hope all of you have an awesome 420. Hope you're staying safe. Hopefully this pandemic is almost over. We can get back to traveling and uh keep watching the channel i really appreciate people sticking along even though I've, i haven't been putting out a lot of stuff lately uh, ideally we'll get things rolling again you know what i mean with new content and yeah talking with moko today he did seem pretty good so i'm glad to hear he's doing good moko if you're watching much respect we'll we'll chat soon and hopefully we'll be back on that land of wood and water shooting some new videos and touring around in a wicked van. So much respect, bless up, have a great night and happy 420.